Fuck you! It's Friday! Welcome to another edition of FYIF, where I play some of the games that I've missed over the last decade or so, which is basically all of them, except when I'm playing a new game that's just come out recently, which is what I'm doing today. We're playing The Outer Worlds. But I'm not alone. Joining me is the man behind the curtain, Mr. Mark. How are you? This stream intro has a real flow to it. Doesn't it? I've been practicing. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense anymore. Like, you know, it, it, whoa, every Friday we do this, except for now when we're not doing that. Like, we need we need a new <laughs> we need a new thing where it's like every Friday, Larissa or Mark. No, it's already bad. OK, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Let, let's just keep going. Let's just OK, we'll, we'll just keep going. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm playing the Outer Worlds. Um, my character is actually a uh, she's a scientist, smart person, a.k.a. a fucking nerd. Yep. She's a fucking nerd. Um, and we landed on the, some planet that is run Halcyon. by Spacer's Choice. Halcyon. Or Halcyon. On Halcyon. Halcyon. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we landed on it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Spacer's Choice runs the place. Uh, I wandered into the town of... I don't remember what the town's called. It's... Uh, uh, Edgewater? They, did you Edgewater. play the game? I, I did, but I cannot remember the names for anything. But oh. thank you, Marley and Spike 19 for subscribing. Yeah, and thank you, Mark, for remembering all the names and carrying yeah. the stream. What? How do you remember these names? That's what I want to know. Uh, because Halcyon or Halicon was in the uh, Twitter uh, caption for this episode or the stream. Okay. Yeah. And Edgewater was the name of a boat I was on once. Okay. See, you've got a. See, I'm like the Slumdog name. Millionaire, except for Outer Worlds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas I'm just yeah. like, oh, we went to a place and there was the canning factory where they. They can't sell tuna. Yep. And then the the big boss man was like, "Hey, you should go steal this uh, commune's power regulator to fix your ship instead of His my power regulator." His name was Jarek. No, it was not Jarek. Okay, I didn't think you'd catch that. It was someone else, it wasn't Jarek? It, was, it was like something really main, mundane, I think. Like Tim. Um, oh, something like okay. that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, whatever. Yeah, but we made a new friend. Her name's Parvati, and she's showing us around. And now I have to decide whether or not I'm going to steal. Oh my god! Gun to the Kaiser. And now Gun to the Kaiser showing off for everybody again. Yep, five tier one subs to a whole bunch of folks. Congrats, oh, Mr. McPac so Man. Cool. No, Mr. McPan Man, a robot gamer, Badger, <laughs> Metric Imperialist, and Deadly Former ninety one. Y'all are lucky. Mr. McPan Man, that's a good name. Mr. McPan Man. Yeah. Um, right, so... Wait, before we go any further, is the stream incredibly terrible for anyone else? Yeah, is this laggy as shit? It looks yes, I had it on good authority that you fixed this. I thought I did, I was so hoping that I did. But, I mean, oh god, this is awful. Okay. Oop, like, bring it down, Let's see if that helps. It has to be OBS, right? Because, uh, the subs are what broke it, I would imagine. Like, five subs in a row? I mean, why would that break it? Because it's playing a bunch of new video files all in a row. Oh. Well, is it is it fine now? No. Eh, fine-ish. Fine-ish is not acceptable. And yet, here we are. I spent, like, so long yesterday fixing this instead of doing other work. I don't know what to do. You should have fixed it right the first time. That's what I think. Well, I, I don't know what's wrong with it. What's wrong with it? I don't know. Wait, what if I pop out Chad? <laughs> Get to the Kaiser yeah. says, if I give more subs, will you fix it? If you give more subs, you'll break it. So if you want to fuck up the stream, give us subs is the message. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's entertaining. Okay, is this any better? Uh, yeah. no. Uh, I am at a genuine loss. I don't know what to do. Did you update your drivers? I did. I updated the drivers. I made sure that the game was running on my SSD, not my hard drive. I played around with OBS settings and nothing seemed to did it. Do it, fix it. No, whatever. Hmm. Like I I genuinely don't understand what the problem is. Something was missing. Let's call it heart. That hurts. I tried. I tried so hard. No, don't do that thing cuz it makes me feel bad. But it's true. I did try very hard. Like, no, I mean like the choked up, uh, the that 
whatever. You know what you're doing. Also, fix the game. I don't know what to do. Is it? Should I just disable all of the overlay stuff and we just yeah do maybe this See, that fixes school? it. I mean, I spend a lot of time making that stuff and everyone loves it, but you know whatever. Know. You it's, need to get rid of it to so play our game. It's beautiful. Is does it work now? Is it fine? Uh, yeah. Is it still fine? Uh, no, it's it's still screwed up. Okay, so that's not the problem. That's Alex Tsuki asks, "Oh, are you getting a choppy frame rate?" <laughs> No, everything is perfectly fine. Nothing looks like garbage. I'm pretty sure the game was meant to be played like this. Try smacking the side of the computer. Try setting all those settings to low. Like super low. Let's play this in 1996 mode. In potato mode? Yeah. Low it is. This still looks fine. I mean, it's not great, but it's fine. Ugh, fine is exactly how it looks. Yeah, how is it choppy though? No, I think I. Uh, 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 eh, six out of ten. Still, on the lowest settings. Nah, I think it's a bit better. Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding. Okay, OBS just gave me a clue. My encoding is too low. Really? Yes. What's that mean? I don't know. But I, I have a clue. I have a direction. <clears throat> okay. So. Great Vengeance predicted that. He said, is your encoding too low? Eh. Where were you five minutes ago? Could have told me this he sooner. He was here also telling me to stop bullying you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I think in order to well, change the that. encoding system, I'd have to, I probably need to, uh, order... My encoders. I was gonna. Just I was gonna tell a story while you did that, but if you wanted to describe your process, that's fine too. Okay, you tell your story. I actually forgot what it was, so <laughs> you've ruined it. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah. So my my encoder is at two sixty four. Uh huh. What's that? I don't know what that means. Is that a lot? Enable advanced encoder settings. Uh, what if I put my encoder preset on super fast? What does that do? Is that okay. what we want? I don't know. Let's see what happens. I do not have to stop the stream to do it, so. Encoding overloaded. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What if instead I try the other encoder thing? How does this work? I just want to say this is one of our better streams. I know, right? Like, wait, I remember my story. Oh, what? What's your story? Also, I think you might have fixed it. But um, uh, yeah, remember how when we first got to this planet last week, there was that volcano. Right. Yeah. And I told that story about how for like the better part of three years, I had a recurring dream where there was volcanoes. I called them my volcano nightmares, and it was like five times a week. Remember that whole thing? Yeah. That night, I had another volcano dream. Oh my god. Yeah. Did you survive? Uh, no. That's the whole point of the volcano dreams. Okay, never mind. I gotta go screw it up again. This stream it's, sucks. It's not... Hmm. I mean, it was uh, mostly good until you broke it. Yeah. Okay. Great Vengeance suggests that I bump my bit rate. My bit rate's already 6k. So... Maybe if Mark stopped being a jerk, it could work. Mark with a K. Do we know a Mark with a K? I don't know. Okay. If we um, find it, we'll get him to stop being a jerk. Yeah. I don't know. It seems better-ish. Maybe that was just a fuck up. Maybe. Let me see if... Um... Wait. Now people are saying that I'm jinxing it. Oh, so maybe you should just... Shh. Uh, I happen to know with great authority that it works on my streams, so... And so does Arc Metal, because he just joined at the right time, where everything's broken and we're yelling at each other. Oh, yes. when is that falling not the apart. case? Okay, I mean, how bad is it? Is it like, eh. like occasionally there's a chop, or is it like unwatchable? Larissa, the important thing is you're trying your best, and you're doing what's good for you. That is what's happening. Yeah. 
I mean, so, good for you, champ. A light assault rifle. Take it. Okay, and there's also a bunch of stuff. You know, take all the stuff. All right, chat saying it's viewable with just a little bit of chop, so this will suffice for now, I guess, and then- In that case, uh, oh, you should try setting the settings back to maximum, see if that makes any okay. difference. I will do that once I figure out what assault rifle I want. Okay. Uh, I feel like the most amount of bullets per second is probably what I want. Yeah, with so, your play style, I wouldn't say like precision is what you want to look for. No, I want a big magazine, and a lot of bullets, because mm. these are identical. Okay. Yes. Is that just called a TNL? Is it the manufacturer, or is it the name of the gun? I think it's the name of the manufacturer. Okay, I mean, that would make sense, right? Yeah. Knees, but it's not coming. Oh, man. Bring it up to me. Still seems fine. Still seems fine. Awesome. My... Yeah. Oh. Here we go! Ah! Nice hit! Flip. Die! Aha! Yeah, uh, the stream is melting down again. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah. Okay, well that's great. Oh, and my computer's not responding well either. Okay, um, I'm just gonna bring the settings back down. Is there some sort of god we can make a sacrifice to? Uh, I mean, normally I'd say me, but I don't think that'll work. I don't know what I'm doing. That's true. Oh, no, she's fine. Not fine, fine, but she's fine. So, I have to upgrade my computer now, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. That's not ideal. I mean, some of us have dual 1080s and six monitors and such, but, you know. Yep. Uh... Um, no, what do you think we should do? Should we stop the stream and figure out what is going on with my computer? Uh, well, since you said uh, set it back to low, it seems to be mostly fine. Although I can't tell if that's because We're nothing's happening and there's, <laughs> yeah. So if it like really screws up next time you shoot some guys, maybe we'll figure out something. Or maybe I'll just play the game because I want to play Outer Worlds. <laughs> I'm looking for more combat. Okay. So far, there's a bunch of dead bodies. Don't you get it, Larissa? The combat you were looking for was right in front of you this entire time. Oh my god, you're right. There's marks on the heads-up display right in front of me. Oh. Yep. Oh no, I'm out of bullets! Yeah, Grave Engine said that a couple seconds ago. Oh man! <laughs> I have that. Oh, I'm out of bullets again! The you know, tonight's not really going your way. Ah, alright. Switching over to a sword. Okay, how is the stream responding to that? That seems fine. Die! I'd still recommend you get some bullets, though. Yes, that that is a good idea. I, I would I would agree with that assessment. Um, okay, I guess we push forward with the, the potato settings. And then I'll figure out what I need to upgrade and then do that. Okay, works for me. All right, going to the geothermal master control terminal. Wait, so who did you decide you're gonna steal the power thing from? I, I missed that. 
I I think I still have to have time to make that choice, but I'm okay. not sure. I just went to the closest waypoint. <laughs> That's what the choice came down to. That's when you're role playing. I'm a nerd. Oh, I've listened to these two communities tell me what they need and what they want from me, and it all ends comes up down to just Which go to the nearest closest? one. Yeah. The control room should be. That's the most the thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I hope we're doing the right thing. I mean. I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be presented with the choice and it's just gonna be like two levers and I get to pull like throw one, you know? But each, is that how it works? I, I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for. Because each uh, settlement has a power thing and each wants the others so they can have both of them. And if you're just yeah. going to the nearest one, it's not like it's gonna be like, push the lever, it's gonna be like, steal this thing. Okay, well, I honestly don't know how to tell which one I already am. <laughs> Do you have like a map? Where I'm, where I'm already am. Uh huh. You also have two bullets. Right. There does not seem to be a whole lot of ammo laying around. I guess I have to do a lot more uh, close encounters. You know your character's supposed to be smart, right? Um. Thank you for that. Humbling reminder. Yeah. Let's explore a little bit. Oh! Another tip from Grave Engines, letting you know that swords never run out of ammo. Yes, thank you. Ooh, breath inhalant. Stimulotion. Does it seem like they would... <laughs> you can use your stimulotion after we're done. Can we just get through the stream, please? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Um... Personal files. From the chief, chief of security. What do they have to say? Chester Higgins is a jerk. Uh, been a lockdown on this station. Wow, okay, so they're they're Sink, fight back against anxiety with an ice cold bottle of zero G brew. That's sinister. Okay. I still want to know context. Where are you? Whose plant is this? It's the geothermal plant. I think that means that this is the spot where the, the communists get their energy from. Are you sure? Is there any like world map I can look at? Or your quest or something? Ah, okay. Uh, only see the one waypoint. Well, I mean, there's two, but you'll only be able to click on one. Probably well, you seem a ways again. away from the main settlements, so this probably is the hippies. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I think there's only one spot, so it must be a case of like between these two, right? Uh, I have no idea. I thought it was that you'd have to go to one or the other. Either you head back to the settlement and steal their thing, or you stay at the hippie place and steal their thing. Yeah, but I had to walk away. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Enigmus Prime. <laughs> Says, Enigma. have you seen the trailer? What? Enigma? Yeah, that guy. Uh, have you seen the trailer for Obsidian's upcoming Grounded game? Yes, I have. Have you, Larissa? Uh, no, but I did see that Obsidian released a new trailer. I hadn't actually clicked and watched it yet. It's, um... I'm not sure how I describe it. It's, I don't know, like, you, you play as kids the size of ants stuck in their backyard, and they have to survive against, like, spiders and shit. And you can, like, build communities and stuff. It actually seems kind of neat. Everyone all right? That does seem kind of cool. It that si sort of sounds similar to, um... Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Um... Unraveled. I think that's what You play this, like, little yarn person, and you just, like, jump around solving platformers. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I mean, the concept sounds a bit different, but the, uh... System. Here they come. The point is you're small. which is very similar to the other method, which is uh, point a gun and click at it until it dies from very far away. Are you sure you weren't misdiagnosed as a genius? I am a genius. You say otherwise, what is it? Yeah, she was misdiagnosed as a child genius and she never got over it. She still thinks she's really smart, but she just goes around hitting robots with her sword because she can't figure out how to get ammo for her gun. I mean, to be fair, there's not a lot of ammo just lying around. She thinks she's just gonna find ammo lying around and not like, you know, at a store that sells ammo. It's, it's really sad to, to see. Look at all this computer junk. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm a scientist. Room for Look nerds. at all this computer junk. <laughs> found more ammo, so fuck yeah. You got lucky. Might I suggest you put it in your gun? Well, I've already reloaded this gun. And that's it, a sword. It wasn't... Oh, okay. You gotta that was wait behind. for it to catch Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Okay. Can't access that computer terminal. Maybe there's some stuff. Wait, why can't you? Way, oh, there's someone who's alive. I can't because my hacking skill isn't high enough. Ah. Uh, Wait. That's more evidence for the misdiagnosis of genius theory. I'm, I've only been a research assistant, so... Maybe you were the subject. Yeah, we've told her she's super smart and she thinks she's a research assistant here, but... It's not real. Yeah. You're not real. body doesn't exist. Really unnerving. <laughs> My body doesn't exist. Jesus, that would be kind of scary. Like, look at that. No form here. Higgins, what's up, man? I'm gonna have my sword out. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram! Uh, I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? He picked up on your no body thing. Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Yeah, Higgins. Uh, you're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Oh, right, logically. Chester D. Higgins. The D he got over that real fast. Oh, please excuse I'll my mania. It, it happens every now and then. The D stands for definitely not insane. Hmm. Um, okay. How long have you been down here? Hmm. Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I, I feel like some of those job titles he just made up right now. Yeah, that's, uh, okay. Yeah, what happened to this plague? Mechanicals lost their bolts, opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. Oh, the sentries that I've been killing? Good yes, work. Sir. I avenged yeah, them. You I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. He's back to speaking in first person now. Weird. Maybe there's two of them. I specialized in auto mechanicals, 
drones, centuries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Was this before or after you became a Sisty Pig Tycoon? <laughs> I think that's made up. But I want to I wanna know if he knows a way to stop the mechanics. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Um... <laughs> Spacer's Choice sent me here to rescue you. <laughs> no. Um, I'll do this persuade option. I can deal. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Okay. Why is it easier? Yeah. Why is it easier to change their uh, their targeting protocols and hostility levels? That should be like reverse, shouldn't it? Well, apparently the hostility levels were hardwired. But why would they do that? When well, they're designing the robots. Well, I'd assume because they want whatever they're targeting t to be dead. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to question it. Whatever. Nothing on this planet but, makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I guess, like, if you if you thought about it, you could say, well, I want... Today, I want these things to um, kill any unauthorized personnel on site, but then this other day, when there are planned to be unauthorized personnel on site, like a tour or something... Then uh -huh. tour. <laughs> you, you'd, you'd want to reprogram them so that they don't immediately attack unauthorized personnel, but only attack like marauders, you know? Okay, I mean, are these security robots or are they just like, you know, cleaning machines? I think they're security robots. All right, well, I don't know. Do what you like. Okay, let's see. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Yes, I'm very There's a behavior control smart. terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Okay, that's all I, I need. Why wouldn't he just, like, walk to the next room with you? Um... In case you haven't noticed, he doesn't seem entirely stable. If you excuse me, I need to look at this wall for a bit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, little... uh... I don't know what this is. Why is it not telling me? You want to be in the room. That's your objective, apparently. So I, I'm betting well, it's there's, there. Well, there's there's two objectives. Floor. I've got oh this objective. And then I've got this objective, and I don't know what one I want. Uh, do you have like an Ouija board? An Ouija board? Yeah, Ouija board, those things. A Luigi board? You can board? ask the spirits what to do. Um, no, I do not have a Luigi board. Okay. Well, you might just have to do some trial and error then. Yep, I guess I'll just start with, uh, the... That fifth level. See what happens. Didn't you say it was like just right next door that room? Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Um, I, I thought so, but maybe not. Okay. Uh oh. Performing an area. Watch out! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah! Uh -oh. Stop shooting me. Use your gun. I don't have many bullets. Uh, apparently, its armor is too strong for this little gun. Everyone, all right? Ah! I headshotted it. Nice. Finally. I'm amazing. Uh oh, there's more. Here we go. Yeah. Dead. Now I'm out of time. Oh. Ah! Oh no, they're flying ones. Bullets? Out of bullets for my gun. Oh! Hit them with your sword. Now switching to the 
being too garbage. I died. Yeah. And no one was surprised. <sighs> I don't know if they taught you this in, you know, science class, but maybe use bullets a lot. I don't have many. Go buy some. I can't. They, they're just lying around on the floor. But there's probably whole stores of them back in town. But I, I'm already here. I don't want to. I don't want to buy stuff. I don't have that much money. How much money do you have? Not much. Uh, forty-three of money. Is that a lot? I don't know. I have forty-three monies. I don't know if it's a lot. Do you got any sort of, like, grenades or special things you can do? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, okay. Okay, up one more floor. One more floor, okay. And then I can play with terminal. Oh no, this is the terminal that I can't hack. Or is it? No, I can hack it now. I talked to the guy and he gave me his magic password. Select new target. Define intruders. Spacer's choice auto mechanical. Okay, now the robots will shoot each other. Good work. Yay. Okay. See which quests you're doing. Divert power from the geothermal plant. Oh, maybe you, there will be a switch. Like divert power yeah. to this place or that other place. Okay, you could be right. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm I still don't get, like, what are the stakes here, though? Because if you divert it to the hippies, won't the capital just be like, okay, we'll send someone here to flick the switch back the other way? Like, what's going to stop them from well, just they fixing don't, what you do? They don't venture outside ever because they're scared of marauders. Okay. Yeah. Airlog. Uh... Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals, every sentry and drone. It's not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be a part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is the leading brand in affordable sundry across Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's the Spacer's Choice. Why are they so open about that? Don't know. I guess to just indoctrinate people into thinking that shit quality is acceptable. That's what we've done, and it's worked for us, so... Exactly. So, okay. I mean, who are we to criticize? Exactly. Just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modifications to the logic module. I haven't had time to run a... Do oh, I'm supposed to read this stuff before I talk to Hagen. <laughs> You're supposed to do okay. a lot of stuff, but don't worry. We're not really holding into those kind of standards. Someone has borrowed a copy of Guide to Mechanical Engineering, Volume 3. I want that. Someone tasked me with picking that up. Where what do you it? think? Did Higgins program the robots to do something? Um, I mean, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. This all seems a bit suspicious. Yeah. Higgins has the Volume 3 of a book set that I want. Should I go back down to talk to him, or just continue forward? What would your no, character do? No, she would She would go get it. Yeah. Because she's a chump. <laughs> who, like, feels warm and fuzzy feelings for random strangers who tell her that they want to be mechanics when they grow up. And reads books and stuff, like a total yeah. nerd. Like a nerd? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to the crazy guy and see if we can... I suppose we could kill him for it, but I don't think that's very roleplay. Hands. Back tap. Bunch of stuff that I missed here. Around a little bit more. Yeah, probably. That's the name of 
game, right? Just Ooh, Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 3. Take that. Did you get it? Yep, we Excellent. don't even need to ask him. Let's just not talk to him. Deal his stuff and leave. <laughs> He's too busy staring at that wall. Exactly. He's fine. Got the wall to keep. Oh, there's a little box here. With money. How's the stream holding up? Is there much lag or jitter? Uh, it's good. Uh, although whoever's playing really doesn't know what they're doing. Yes, but that's not what I was asking about. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. No, the, the stream quality itself is fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Now we're going to go... Getting very close here. I, I still haven't figured out who I'm going to support. Wait, no. Yeah, what's um, your thought process? I'm thinking I'm going to side with the, with the hippies because they are interested in forward progress. No? Uh, and, are you sure? They seem to like kind of backward savages. Uh, no, because she's going on and on about how important it is to get the uh, soil back working. And she's putting in all of this research to make the soil work. So I think that's forward progress. Okay, you know what? You might be right. And what do the capitalists want? Just like they want the factory back in operation, right? Yes. Because all the workers are leaving. Yeah. To join okay, the yeah, for the revolution. For the revolution. I just wish the revolution was better. Now you gotta start somewhere, right? Okay. More computery thing. Take some stuff. Okay. Plant status. Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant operating at 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater Saltuna Cannery and Botanical Laboratory. Structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Redirect power. Okay, I, I'm seeing the potential for a fuck up here. So, which one is which? Let's just make sure we know what we're doing. Processing. Error. Power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Um, so this seems like it's fine. Like nothing could go wrong here. Uh, uh, okay. Seems fine. Uh, now, where are those switches? Of course they're not in this. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Can they not be? No? Um, I think I've done this all in the wrong order. Almost certainly. <laughs> okay, here's switch one. There's two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Okay. That's not a... Where's the switch? Oh, it's down there. Oh, I see. Everyone be very quiet. Larissa is doing science things and needs complete concentration. Full, total silence. Concentrating is hard. My wee little brain. Nine machines. Ah! Robots. I thought I, I thought I hacked the robots. Here bash them, Lewis. Bash them good. Ah! <laughs> die! 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 That's the last of them. Was that just the last robot? And I only hacked one robot? Uh. I'm not sure. I thought after you died, maybe the robots came back. Is that how that works? Well, that can't. Ah, there's another robot. Security patrol. Okay. Uh, hey, we did it. Uh, 
I think that was mostly me, but uh, whatever. Thank you. Don't say I didn't appreciate the hard work that you contribute to, uh, to my gameplay. Oh, your gameplay. It's your gameplay now? Well, yes. Oh, the switch is up here. Perfect. Blast. Okay. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Thank you for your very, uh, synced description there, Provide. All I know is the decision's final. No pressure. I've made my decision. Alright, ready? Nothing uh, could possibly go wrong. I mean, I'm pretty ready. Should I be doing something else? Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I oh. just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I know exactly what... Actually, no. If I'm gonna roleplay, I'd ask her for what her opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Interesting. I expected her to be like, yeah, give it to the, uh, give it to the, or the laboratory. I think you should do what she says. Why? What's your, what's your argument? Uh, cause the commune people are selfish. They've gone off from the main group. They've set up their own stupid community. They've rejected like society. Uh, and what's her face provide is right. There's hardworking people in the, in the plant. Yes, but those people in the plant can then go join the commune and rebuild yeah, but, uh, a new society <clears throat> out of the, out from under the sinister grip of Caesar's choice. Who are you to decide which society is better? The one in front of the switch. That's true. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no one else well, has the guts thinking? to go do it. I'm still thinking the the giving it to the deserters. Ah. Uh, okay. What would your nerd character do? Well, I I sort of m pitched that before of like. Yeah, with the the whole okay. Yeah, like forward progress. Like they're they're making active steps to improve their lives, whereas I've, I've just, just never heard existing. hippie and forward progress in the same sentence before. <laughs> no, it's a completely foreign concept. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Pavardi seems smarter than you. <laughs> I just do what she thinks. I'm gonna say the deserters are a compute. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick, gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? What do you think What's-His-Face-With-The-Hat is doing? I don't know, you're, you're... Hmm. That's a good point, um, but what? Yeah, yeah, very articulate, yes. Yeah. I don't um, know, I like uh, what Pavardi's telling you. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I made my I decision. didn't babble on like that. I just, I felt like I had to say something. Glad you did. <laughs> really? I mean, wow. <laughs> don't worry about it, I was really listening to you. <laughs> no one's ever told me those words in that order. All right. I'm ready to make the decision. Redirect power. Sure you want to continue? Yes. All right, we are going to redirect power to the laboratory. Ah, For the okay. revolution. <clears throat> For the revolution. Ooh, and I leveled up. Sweet. 
Let's do that before I, Parvati gets I mad at us. I disagree with your with your choice. And that is your right. Just know that it is wrong. <laughs> My right is wrong. Your right is wrong. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. I think I want better hacking ability. Do more more hack. And um. Let's do, let's do some defense, because that's pretty weak sauce. And, Did you just um, say weak sauce? Weak sauce, yes. I'm pulling that back. Bringing it back, man. Okay. okay. Just like Ms. Mill 91 is bringing it back. Uh, yes, another point. Thanks for following, Ms. M whatever. Thank you. Uh, okay, perks. Okay, I get a new perk. Um, so increase in health. That seems like it would be very valuable, you know, because I'm yes. constantly dying. So let's yep. do that. No, I'm with you. That. Okay. I accept. Great. All right. So now I've diverted the power, so now I need my regulator. Very soon we'll find out the consequences of my action. What's this? I'm sure there won't be any. <laughs> no consequences? Yep. Ooh, there's a copy of the Guide to Mechanical Engineering in the Repair Bay. Good to know. Chaos everywhere, mechanicals gone haywire, gunfire, hearing some screams, oh la, I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day, please deduct a delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you, <laughs> proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice family. It is insane how accurately they replicated our private Discord server. I know. Please deduct delinquency pay from my pay. Oh, receptionist doesn't have her head anymore. Larissa, Premier Pro is trying to kill me. Leaving early for the day. I will deduct it from your pay. Yeah. This lock. Criminal activities. Great work. Okay, cool. I like this nice little lounge area here. And there's just some I do guns. like a nice executive lounge. Right? Yeah. And the computer? Manager's office. From J. Braden. Spacer's Choice. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. Oh god. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing slash canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-effective power to the entire region. Are you sure that by messing with this, you're not going to bring the wrath of uh, Spacer's Choice on the whole planet? I guess we'll find out. Spacer's Choice okay. handguns. Body counts at a discount. <laughs> That's... Dark. Very dark. Okay. I do like I hope this letter finds you wealthy. Yeah, right? I think yeah. That, that could be said a lot. And I've been trying to work, uh, you'll hang for this into everyday conversation. Oh yeah? How's that going? Ah, uh, that's okay. I mean, I haven't heard you use it, so... Uh, no, nah. it's mostly like there's no no real circumstances where it'll come up yet. Gotcha. But uh, my roommate didn't clean the kitchen, so you know. 
Obviously, she'll hang. I'll see you hang for this. Yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, right. I round. Um. Oh, I suppose I can just walk up this hill instead of climbing the rock face. Yeah, do it. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Sure. Oh, no, Parvati, don't go there. Don't go there. Heading out. Don't go there. I was trying to crouch. Tamed canid. Okay. Well, if it's tame, then it's fine. Although, now there's a marauder. So, my rifle. There it is. Let's end this quick. For science. <laughs> For science. Oh, oh! I should have shot this thing. Thank you, That's the last of them. Wait, do you see that? Shot him right in the It was butt. very nice. I'm awesome. You know, bypass shunt those used for, I don't know. You know, I love a good bypass shunt. I'm not ashamed to admit it. On our way to Edgewater. Get the uh, power converters. You can waste time with your friends when you've done your chores. <laughs> okay, now the game's stuttering on my end. Uh oh. Hi! Like, it's really laggy on my end. Is it coming through on the stream? Yeah, don't worry. We're getting the full experience. Oh, good. I'd hate for you to miss out on this experience. <laughs> These are the lowest settings. Yeah. And no combat's going on. It's all Something's... internal conflict. Yeah. Some cognitive dissonance happening on my computer. Yeah, big time. Okay. Going to get my power converter. Oh, there seems to be a bit of a... I put my oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I would put my gun away. Ah! Don't know. Maybe Adelaide was right to leave. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. Oh, Who's this you. lady? Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. Uh, I'm... Hmm. Okay, goodbye. Here. It looks like there's some emergency backup power. So that's that's good. Does this city have a hospital? No, I. Edgewater has suffered. You should have checked before you stole their power. Plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Tobson. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? I don't owe you an explanation. You're right. I put the fate of our town in the hands of some feckless transient. Feckless? This is my fault. <laughs> all Edgewater's pain for my mistake. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. Feckless is an eerily accurate description of, of <laughs> your role in this so far. Yeah. Hey, what's this? <laughs> how does the, uh, how do I 
<laughs> Put away my gun. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm sorry. Apologies won't give us our lives back, but for what it's worth, I am sorry. <laughs> Edgewater's Edgewater. dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Okay. Did He's I intimidate taking it pretty him? well, though, right? Yeah. I'd love to see you try to intimidate him. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give it a go. All right. Easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. Okay, it worked. I'll order and my now guards I feel bad. to stand down. Whoa. Take what you came for and then leave us be. He's more feckless than you are. Yeah, apparently. Because I had my big gun out. Stand down, all of you. We're done here. Yeah, just let me take the, the regulator. I don't want to shoot my way through here. Sneak. Well, honestly, I can't tell if you're more feckless or crepuscular. <laughs> I've unlocked companion perks. Cool. Does your companion still like you? No, no. Okay, but I have level stuff up. And level. Can you try clicking on something more than once? Like, can you rank up tech twice? Yes, I can. I knew it. Why have you been upgrading everything? Because why would I not? Because that's not how you make your character in an RPG. <laughs> well, I'm I'm still like, I have leftovers. Marissa, well, you're I've doing played. it wrong. You, then you play. I wanted to, but you <laughs> called dibs. I did call dibs. So, call dibs next. I'm just going to have to play Hearts of Iron and Stellaris over and over and over again when you get all the new games. And now Parvati has... Read Parvati a bit. Thanks for watching Stellaris Invicta Season 8. Tomorrow, <laughs> Larissa's going to be playing Half-Life 3 while I watch. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, I still haven't played Half-Life 2. What's going on? How do I pick up the crowbar? Ew, a head crab! <laughs> yep. I think I'm going to make her a little healthy. Oh. <laughs> if only it was that easy. <laughs> yep. And whoosh! You're healthy. You have a stronger healthy. constitution now. What accent was that almost? Um, I don't know. I've just heard some people say constitution. It sounds uh, funny. You gotta stop hanging out with all those founding fathers. They're a bad influence. Um, uh, yeah. What did King George ever do to you? Well, nothing, I guess. Go see if there's a hospital and if everyone's about to die. I doubt very much that they're about to die, but... Maybe there's a bunch of uh, newborn babies being kept alive on life support. Wandering this old ghost town. Maintenance division. If it's a ghost town, it's because you made it into a ghost town. It was a ghost town before I got here. <laughs> now it's well, just the exactly lights are off me. too. place was doomed uh the cantina god that loaded that would have been a nice place to visit too general store did you explore this town at all before you destroyed it no you uh, haven't because you just got that achievement thing oh there's the church i've been to the church <laughs> okay you came to the town, immediately became indoctrinated at the church, and then got rid of all the electricity. Yep. No, everyone's out of a job. Ah, oh, boy. I think I actually want to go talk to the uh, to the hippies and see how they're doing. Mick Zib 
just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you kindly. McZib, Mc, McZib, 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 McZib. Damn it! I went through the wrong door again. Have you ever tried the McRib? I have not. Yeah, neither have I. It it seems like something that is a, a fundamentally horrible idea. Ah. Uh, yeah, probably. Out of the hip. Fast travel. Okay. Where are them hippies at? Can I go talk to Adelaide? He thinks of the whole situation. Because if they're not grateful, I'm gonna go on a kill. Is that what your character would do? No, that's what I'm. I would do. Adelaide. Adelaide. If this frame rate doesn't improve, I'm gonna go on a low, killing spree. Hum of electricity. It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. See, someone's giving me approval. What Time's happens now? Time to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. Uh, and a lot more mouths to... Not as many as you'd think. We're not about to let the whole town join our flock. Just the ones willing to renounce their corporate loyalties and live the way nature intended. Okay, now I'm starting to question I my am decision. Curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. Uh... I guess my original thinking was because of one, but now I'm starting to question it. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. Yeah, now that she was like, yeah, we're not gonna accept everybody. Just the just the folks that agree with me. Now makes me not feel so good. You're a real hero. She gave me approval. <laughs> what no happened in your character's did. past? Well, clearly, uh, she's been overlooked, ignored for most of her life. Feels great resentment. Okay, there's a dude who wanted some books. It's this guy. Any luck finding one of yes, those manuals? Yes, this guy. Got one of them. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Awesome. Well, he approved of me too. Also, use workbench. Allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor. Ooh, that sounds useful. It does. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, probably just smash things together until it works. Yeah, hit it with a sword. Yeah. Usually how it goes. Uh, okay, these four are the ones that I have a How can I tell how much repair stuff I have? That's not it. Error. Oh, it's only a 96. Uh... My sentry saber is very damaged. It's fixed. Oh, I can't fix that. I only have two weapon parts. Okay, what about armor? I've got lots of armor parts. Okay, let's repair that.
Okay, cool. I can break down some stuff? Would that mean that I get... It does mean that I get... Okay, so I can break down surplus thing. I think I prefer my... Do, do I want the... Um, hammer or the... Or the sword? Whoa. Uh... I don't know. Your hammer is vaguely more sciency because it's a tool, not just a weapon. Hmm. So role playing wise, I guess hammer. All right, we'll do. Keep that hammer. I won't destroy it. Um, I don't like this assault rifle, so I'll back down. I don't need the extra. And I can repair my stuff. I can only repair one of my stuff. <laughs> Great. Oh, and I wanted to swap out my... Yeah, hammer! <laughs> hammer time. Sweet! Stop. Elaborate and listen. I don't know the rest of it. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Nah, you don't need to sing. It's fine. I wasn't singing. I know. And I have now reached the end of my knowledge of that song. Yep. I don't think anyone knows anything past that. There might not even be a song past that. That might be the whole song. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Done. Nothing else. That's it. That's all you get. Oh. Gosh. Moving. Off. No, I'm going. I want to crouch. Why is that so hard for me to remember? There's those things. Marauders nearby? Is your sword glowing? No, I traded it out for the hammer, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Okay, well, I should have kept the sword. It glows when orcs are near. Those, those things are things that I should shoot. We can handle this. Die! Nice one! Ah! Oh, wow, that's big. Right in front of me. Reload faster. Ooh, at it. Die! Why are you not dying? You just gotta keep shooting in the butt. That's your new specialty. <laughs> shooting in the butt. Someone actually copy pasted the lyrics to that Hammer Time. No, that's not Hammer Time. It's Vanilla Ice. Ice Ice Baby. Wait, that's why the name we, of the song. Why, why did we start singing it to begin with? It was not Hammer Time. Because. Hammer time, stop in the name of love, and ice ice baby all have the word stop in it, and I like confusing. But we were talking about a hammer. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I just, just I thought they were rocks. <laughs> what is happening? Are they teleporting? Or are they just teleporting me around? Oh my god! What has happened? I'm running away. I'm not ready for this. Did you ever get ammo? Yes. And you're hitting everything with a hammer? Um, no, I want this thing. There you go, there you go. Yeah. They tunnel, oh my God. Well, uh. okay, one of them's dead. How many are there in total? Three, I think. Okay. Oh, keep shooting. You'll be fine. There we go. Okay, now right? it's fine. It's fine. Not a peep for me. Ah, they look like some sort of rock lobster. 
Look like gorillas. Coach uh, KMG Perkins says, Larissa, your accuracy is as stunning as your frame rate at times. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. I'm going to take that as a compliment. I wouldn't. For, for the sake of my ego, I'm going to. <laughs> and thanks to GMG Julian. Thank you. For following. Thank you for following. Yes. Why they decided to follow, I, I, I'm never really clear on these things, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Look, it's my ship. I don't give a shit. <gasps> okay, well, I mean, that's your right. Route. You're allowed to not. Oops. Is that a bad guy? That's a bad guy. Speaking of bad guys, thanks to Ajax025. <laughs> Subscribe with Twitch Prime for four months in a row. Also, shoot this guy in the head already, for God's sakes. Yeah, there we go. And thanks to Aerobot Gamer. Oh, no! Gamer oh, no. Phone. No, 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 no. Die, puppy. It's like a parrot dog. Ah! It's like a dog with feathers, I want to say. Ah! You made me waste a bullet, Parvati, by taking my kill. Both of you are just like running around and hitting guys with hammers. Who are the real barbarians on this planet? Ah, uh, just life, man. You wouldn't understand if I'm on the uh, edge. You didn't answer my question. You just said a bunch of nonsense. What was your question? I swear <laughs> I didn't forget it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But what was what was the question? Oh, I wouldn't want to bother you, Larissa. You got a lot going on. I do, but now yeah. I don't have anything going on. So. Ooh, look! You found some ammo. Gonna stock up. Also, Ajax025 says, I don't know if it's been said, but this new UI is a huge improvement. Ah, wait till you see our new frame rates. <laughs> new and improved. As in not very improved at all. In fact, it seems to be worse. Mock apple, mock apple. Oh, there's another one. We can handle this. Hey. Hey, stop shooting. Me. Shoot him in the head. I don't know if you learned this in uh Yeah, so. Nice one. Everyone all right? I I shoot for center mass because I'm very bad at shooting. And if I get headshots, it's generally an accident. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Yeah. Some lamentations in chat for the old UI. Uh, it's coming back. It'll just be updated and used less frequently. Yes. In the world. That full screen thing. Yeah. With the chat and sponsors and such. Wait, look up in the sky. What's that other ship? Come on. Oh. Hiding behind a weird palm tree looking thing. I hate being 50 seconds behind. Pretty sure it's only seven seconds, but still. You're seven seconds. Q? Oh, we get to talk to the awesome ship lady again, who's like, you're actually the captain. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine. I like Aloy. She has a great attitude. Edgewater yes, me too. Season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's choice. Company expects me back at my post. Yeah, but what happens if you leave? Yeah, those deserters left Edgewater. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Can I come with you? 
I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I think yes. Let's do it. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Which, uh, which thing do you pick? I can call you I, Captain I picked, now. I, I <laughs> like you. Pick a cabin. Oh, Captain. Uh, okay. Brought her on board. She is now a permanent member of the team. Yeah. Okay. Welcome aboard the Reliable. Okay. Now we're going to talk to the ship lady and she's going to tell Captain, us what to do. I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Oh. Uh, what can I do for you, <laughs> Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Not even a little bit. Oh, actually, I do. Yes, I do. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Aptitude for engineering. I think she's making fun of you. Yeah, probably. Hey, this cargo bay really looks like the bridge of, or the cargo bay of the Serenity, does it? It does. You should get a basketball hoop. Should. And a mule. Yes. There is the power right there. I was, there. uh... Just playing the Firefly board game the other day. Yeah? Yeah. Did you, did you uh, escape the Alliance? Uh, I was working for the Alliance. Ah. I was um, Harkin, the guy who, no, I was, uh... no, was I Harkin? I was early, I think. Jube early. Oh, I love early. Yeah. What can I do for you, Captain? I have installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Hey. Let's do you it. Should come, uh, come back in a month and see how badly it smells of just rotten tuna. Yeah, I think it would be interesting to see the consequences of my decision. Because the fridge is going to be the first thing to go. Oh, definitely. And it, then it's just going to be like rotten saltuna. Ugh. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Phineas Wells. Oh, that's the guy that freed me. Right. Okay, let's hear what he has to say. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. <laughs> oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, that sounds What like you saw in Emerald Vale is normal. happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Yeah, let's ask that question. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. 
The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Okay. Uh, can't I land somewhere outside? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia, and in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures, more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. But he's implying I'm not insane. Ha! Ah, fool. I don't think he's met you. Yeah. About this Gladys person. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. I'm, I'm going to be an upstanding citizen. I don't like the idea of working with a criminal. Criminals? Goodness, no. Smuggling is a perfectly legitimate business venture. If misappropriating board property is a crime, well then, throw me in Tartarus. Plenty of ways to make money in Halcyon, you know. Not all are above board. Oh, <laughs> above board, above the Halcyon board. Get it? You're easily impressed with yourself. Well, yes, someone has to be after all. Okay, guess we'll, uh, let's just talk to Gladys. Excellent, I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Ooh. What's a holographic shroud? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Thanks to that salad for subscribing at tier one for seven months. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, people will actually fall for this. Seems far fetched. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise. Walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. <laughs> cool. What about its limitation? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Whoa. Put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. I think we should work with the board. Yeah? Why? I don't know. Can you trust that guy? I mean... I don't really. Monarch is a good name for a moon, though. I like that. It is, isn't it? Same with uh, Cascadia and was Concordia one too, or did I hear just hear that? I think you just heard like, the holographic okay. shroud. Can we tour the ship more? I, I barely yeah, know what's I going on. I want to see it. <clears throat> okay. So this is these are my quarters. 
Nice view of planet down. I so enjoy watching you sleep for hours on end, Captain. It's quite entertaining the way you drool and whimper. God, Ada's creepy. Yeah. Got Sam, what is this? There is no response from the auto mechanical unit. A serial number etched on its in its chassis includes the letters. Okay, I guess we're gonna be reviving that thing. Got a little shop thing. Ooh, ammo. All of that. Tools and a toolbox. Oh, this is Parvati's room. Okay, she moved in really quick. Yeah, a little too quick. Where did she have all this stuff? Some other room, a bunch of empty rooms. Okay, so these are probably gonna be. Oh, we got a kitchen. Look at the size of this kitchen. That is a nice kitchen. Ooh, got some gourmet saltuna cannons. Check the Vodka? stove as an induction. I think it might be. It's only this one hot. Ugh, I don't like that. And we got bar cart, tables, radio that I can't turn on. Cool. It's a nice little homey space. Oh, here's the head. That is a big bathroom, too. It is. Like, for just, like, a tiny... This engine is room no actually reminds me of, uh... Sorry? Uh, is there no shower? But oh, Sorry, what's the uh, engine room remind you of? It, it reminds me of, uh, the Normandy room a little bit. Just, oh, like, yeah! Grungy. But, uh, go see if there's a shower. I didn't see one. Want to be a Keep looking. Go back to the bathroom after this and check for a shower. Vocational competence respecification machine. Right before he died. Vocational competence respecification machine. Does that just mean that I can move my skills around? Uh, I'm gonna guess yes. Would you like to spend a bunch of money to refund all your skill and perk points? Okay. Yes. No, I don't want to do that. Not yet, at least. I'll I like that. I hate games where you're locked in. Yeah. Oh, the bathroom. Uh, yes, there's a shower. Okay, keep looking at it. Oh, that shower sucks. Yeah, doesn't it? Oh, I'm not impressed. I mean, not really surprising. It's if I had a spaceship, I would put so much money into the shower. Like, you don't even know. I, I, I think I have an idea. Okay. I'm still trying to get my uh, my shower to get a TV in it, but... Too many other things on the docket, I guess, right now. Yeah. Uh, tough. It is tough. Thank you. All right. Go... Find Gladys. <clears throat> the groundbreaker. Oh, I want. Terra 2. I forgot the planet we're on. I believe it's called Terra 2. Was it Povarty or you that coughed? It was me. Okay, I think it's doing that thing again where it's only muted on Discord, not OBS. What? Okay. Can we talk? Can Apparently we talk? the Normandy had really good showers, but I can't remember what they look like. What? He wants hey, to talk. Captain. Oh, I okay, heard I'll that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. 
Uh, sure. Why not? Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Nope. Let's go. Ooh, six companions, All right? So one of them's probably the robot, right? Probably. Yeah. Sam the robot. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. <gasps> Got a few days before it reaches. Captain. Hey, Captain. Up in space. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to say that. Buddy is very excited. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Okay. Shut I don't it, care. Felix. You're not making this. Oh, no. Don't. Don't. Ah! What am I doing? With me again, you little fat face rat. Okay. Fine. We're just gonna. Go talk to Gladys. We're not gonna accidentally steal stuff. Customs and inspection, right this way. Hey, okay. gotta talk to customs. Identification, guy. please. Um, right. I'm supposed to be Hawthorne. <laughs> you should just so, continually fuck that up. No, I mean, I'm curious. I, Who's I, Hawthorne? I I did do that with the computer. Uh. Yeah, look, my name's Curie. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. <laughs> you must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Uh, that's rude. How do I fix that? How do we get it resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. I was in it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Okay, well, it's gotta be a mistake. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh, records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Uh, sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna make the promise to do it, but I'll probably do it. Of course. What am I to you but the guy who's got his eye on your ship? Is there anything else I can help you with? Is there anything else he can help you with? What did he help you with the first time around? Impounding the ship? Yeah, which I, I it's not terribly helpful, but he did tell me to who to go talk to. So okay, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to ask him if he knows about Gladys. No offense. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Uh, why should I bring an empty belly? The food is good, or... Why? That sounds suspicious. Okay, let's ask about Udom. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Okay. Sounds like a fun guy. Really likes his cereals, too. Maybe a little too much. Bit of a weird bird, all told. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. They're fun. Udom takes it to an uh, unhealthy level. 
So he's a nerd. You'll get along so famously. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Seems like there's some tension between the board and. Yeah, noticed, huh? Our like this. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. He's pretty open about this. Say, so, yeah, we steal from them every now and then. Well, it's a processing fee. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's not theft. Uh, we could make the board fix the station. You mean the heat? Sure, we could make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right, so far anyway. Board runs them most of the system, don't Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Right. Sure thing. Um, okay, bye. Be seeing you. All right. Go talk to Udom. And Lattice. No idea if I'm going. Seems wrong. Well, no harm in just exploring the uh, station. Nope. Whoa. I just climbed through Parvati. I can't remember how I'm supposed to put away my gun. It's not X, is it? Nope. Is it K? Nope. Nope. Uh, hold R. How'd you figure that one out? Yes? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. That's a dead. Right. Yes. Not really that much to explore here. Oh, through the door is where I go now. Okay. Um, I talked to I Udom first. This weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Um, I think you should wander around more. Check out the whole no whole site. Lives on Monarch. It's a All right, let's go see what security's up to. No, seriously. Nope. There I'm not gonna walk through there. First, but then this voice said his name was Graham. Graham, right? Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know. It takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Asshole. Really, only one way. Hard. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there's the door. This is Halcyon News. Uh, we this seems like I did end up exploring. Time. I thought it was. Going the the right way, but I guess not. It looks like you barge into a capsule hotel. Yeah, or like the bun the bunkers, the barracks. Are yeah. So the big door with all the shiny lights, that's After where I'm supposed to go. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa. This neon lights looks properly grungy. 
Yeah, I, I hope to see it in motion one day. Oh, is it really bad? Yeah. Are you listening to me, Emperor? How's that better? Ah, no. Uh, talk to Udom. Figure out what's going on with my ship. Figure the least to clear. I was wondering what they do with their waste. I guess they just Rose. chuck it down here. Where does it all go? Hey, I'm not gonna investigate that anymore. Oh, there's the med bay. Found the hospital. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? Are you gonna steal power from this place too? Probably. Anything else cool around? The pirate ship? Spratwurst. The bounty hunter who's been after them? Fuller? I can walk. I'm gonna... Floor, excuse me, I don't understand how... Oh. Gross. I saw how the sausages were made. Ike's armory this Oh, this is probably a place where I can buy stuff. You look like someone who's taken their shit. I'd imagine so. Roses. Need some armor. Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Okay. Yep. So how much money do I have? I have 447 monies. Okay. I can I can get like cool melee weapon. Can you get like a cool outfit? It's always the best part, dress up. Where can I like why can't I compare to what I'm currently uh, press C. Well, that's what I'm doing. It just selects it as something to be compared against. Oh. Not very helpful. Silver tongue kit? Thug. Oh, these are just perks. I see. <laughs> Increases my carrying capacity. That seems like a very good thing. I'm always running out of stuff. Check out uh, the helmets. Um. I don't have to have a full. But you should, because they look cooler. I have purple hair. Oh, it's kind of got a little, little crusty thing. Speedy. <laughs> it's a speed crest, makes the helmet go faster. <laughs> Exactly, it's yellow, it means it goes fast. Uh, it is... It gives a bonus to intimidation. Ooh, and a bonus to science. This one has a speedy crest too! Wow! This better. Get this one. Bye. I bought it! Okay, okay. Um... I... Oh, I have a... Sell it all? Hold it? I don't know what any the value of any of this. Ooh, I can sell the saber. I don't Okay. Can I actually consume this vodka? Yes, I can.
Mr. Ouch. Uh, power Mr. attack. Mr. Ouch. Melee weapon durability. Damage plasma. Well, I can't afford any of them anyway. So... Another time? Okay, let's go put on my new helmet. Yeah, that looks much better. Helmet Welcome! Over. Looking to give a beating or take one? Great. Keep exploring. Engineering. Oh, Parvati wanted to talk to the engineering. Okay. Because it's a door right This is Halcyon. Those XF 411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? That lady you wanted to talk to. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I'm Curie. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Uh, salute. Copy that, Chief. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. I'm bound for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Parvati. Go talk to J What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Ooh. Um, silently encourage Parvati, or... Yeah, I'm gonna say, don't be shy about taking... Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said. Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. I'm, I'm gonna whisk. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Okay, well, you seem like a busy lady. Bye. Level up! As an acute observer of uh, human interactions, <laughs> I was picking up some weird vibes there. Yeah? What were, you, what were you picking up? I don't know. I think Pavardi likes that Tennyson person. I mean, and it she, might be acts like, she, she acts that way about everybody, though. Yeah, but you're the way Tennyson said, like, the, I'll, I'll make time for you, or whatever. Huh. That did not seem very flirty to me, but... Let's keep an eye on that.
Yeah. No romance aboard the ship. <laughs> Wanna go on dates? It has to be off the ship. Um, probably get gooder at guns. Defending myself. Um... And put a couple more points in health leadership. And there. More into the attack stuff. Auntie uh, Cleo knows. Auntie Cleo knows everything. She's the successor to Miss Butterworth. Okay. Um, twenty-five percent increase to tactical time dilation meter maximum. Um, more damage when alone. Faster walk speed. Faster sprint speed. Less damage. To my weapons of armor. More experience from companion kills. I think that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, I like that one. Either that or the uh, time dilation one, but the experience thing. Yeah. Better to get those done first. Yeah. Especially early in the game. All right. We leveled. Talk to Jun Lei. And uh, this is Halcyon Moon. now we're going to go talk to... Udom. Elsia. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. I'm just gonna Ooh. hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Guy looks special. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged mustache. me you were coming. He must be the captain of the unreliable. It's a good mustache. A vessel mm -hmm. that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has... Something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no! Uh... <laughs> I'm going to wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that seems a bit... extreme. I'm just gonna say Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Uh, I'm sorry, boss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Uh, ooh, I can choose to turn in Phineas Wells, too. Hmm. Okay, well, first we'll just... What, what your relation? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't know. It must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? I don't really want to tell him the truth here. I Make something up. Make something up. He was eaten alive by feral canids. It's my only option. Or, you know, or, you don't want to know the details. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, you don't want to know. You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Very sorry, but... Er, no. About my ship. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship. But before you go, I did have one request. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Ooh. Uh. Okay. 
So I don't trust Phineas Wells, right? Like, he seems weird and shifty, but I also don't trust the board. Uh, yeah, I don't trust the board. Fuck the board. <laughs> but uh, option number four there is, like, a nice little tiptoe around the issue. I haven't talked to Alex, so he didn't talk to him. So, okay, number four. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Ooh, um... I wanted to ask you something else. What else? Be my guest. Can we ask him? Uh, does it seem hot in here to you? Eh. What do you do here? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Okay, big fish in a small state. I have few Could he complaints. answer that a bit creepier? <laughs> Why are there armed guards? Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. Yeah, he's super creepy. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Like, super, super creepy. Who watch your back, you mean? Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. You call keeping offices on their prominent. When the alternative is board guards at their gates, yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. Hey, could I ask him if he can get me to Stellar Bay? Why am I going to Stellar Bay again? Right, to get the chemicals so that I can wake up the other colonists. Yeah, I'm going to ask about Stellar Bay. Good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Okay. Back to my other question. Ask away. Uh, bye. Okay. Now we're gonna go talk to Gladys. So I that keep might thinking have Gladys to... is your spaceship AI. <laughs> That's Ada. Yeah, I get it mixed up. Easy to see why. What the hell's going on? We were in a Okay, but I think talking to, to Gladys is gonna to have to wait for next we week. Yeah. So, thank you guys very much for joining us in another edition of FYIF, but the streaming doesn't stop. We'll be back uh, tomorrow for Grand Strategy Saturdays. Mark is playing the Kingdom of Sweden. How's that going? Yeah, trying to uh, trying to form the Nordic Federation is the goal. We were going to invade Finland, there was a Russian intervention, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to mention, this is Hearts of Iron. <laughs> yes. Kaiserreich. Yeah. And then on Wednesday is Wild Card Wednesday, and we haven't picked what game we're going to be playing yet because it's a wild card. So find out on Wednesday. That's at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then next week at the same bat time in the same bat place, uh, I'll be streaming more of The Outer Worlds, and we'll go talk to Gladys. Yeah. Same bat place. Same bat place. Yeah. Which is presumably your bedroom or your living room or wherever you watch streams. I don't judge. Sound a dire. Uh, yeah, so that is it. Do I, I have it? Did I forget anything, Mark? Probably, but I can't think of it. Okay, we'll just leave it there then. So thank you all very much for joining us once again, and we shall see you tomorrow. Bye. See you, folks.